What's up, Army? Welcome back to Redemption 46 Studios. I'm Nick. I'm Keith. Y'all know the vibes. Y'all seen the picture. Y'all seen the thumbnail. Y'all know exactly why y'all here. BTS touchy. What I need y'all to do... Hey, touchy with each other. What I need y'all to do is touch that subscribe button and become a real redeemer today for more content like this. Jump on the Patreon. We have some exclusive BTS content up on there as well. Um, Run should be starting back up pretty soon. Bon Voyage Season 3 is... I was about to say it's sold. Uh, <laughs> has started. Uh, we have a birthday coming up this week. Well, next week, next Friday to be exact. That's going to be God's here. Um, album coming soon. There's some live performances from JK up on there as well. There's some V stuff. I think V's Tiny Desk and some other stuff. Oh, V's um, Tiny Desk? Yeah. Interesting. Very. Um, is he the only one? I'm sorry. I, I know you're trying to do this. Is he the only one to do a Tiny, a tiny Desk? Nah, I think technically RM did one too as well, if I'm not mistaken. Really? Yeah. I don't think I was here. Well, obviously I wasn't here for that because I don't remember. Uh, interesting. So you was here for the RM show? No, I was here for the con- the, the soul, intimate concert the, he did. Intimate soul concert show? Yeah. Because that was the first time I heard a lot of the, the album because I, I, would, I didn't go through it with you guys. Okay. Um, and I don't cheat unless, you know, Jenny makes me do it. But, um... <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's, yeah. Nah, BTS being touchy with each other, which I, um, I was about to say, which I love. Nah, we talked about this before that, uh, as black men, the only time it feels like it's okay to be, uh, vulnerable or to hug or do anything is honestly when people are drunk. He's laughing away his, uh, his awkwardness. Um, <laughs> <laughs> nah, we've, we've had these candid conversations no, before have. about yeah. how, Niggas can't hug or do anything unless they drunk. If y'all been around anybody, and it is maybe probably just not a black thing, it probably is a male American thing. Um, but for the most part, people aren't very, males aren't very emotional with other males until they start drinking or are kind of, and they feel in. And then it's like, bro, you know, I love you, man. I love you. I like how they can just love each other without having to be all extra and everything, and it's cool. And there's nobody bats an eye at it. Yeah, so. I think we talked about it before. Like, is it a cultural thing? And I, I think it is, kind of. Um, they're not, like, super... And I, I don't. I hate the term toxic masculine, so I'm not going to use that. But, like, just super masculine to the point where they're incapable, almost, from a public standpoint, of expressing... Yeah, I think it's also a, maybe a, a street thing more than yeah, more you can't than appear, anything you else. You can't show any weakness. Yeah, because like in in my household, and I'm pretty sure in your household, like like love should be taught, whether it's from your grandparents or it's from somebody. Love should be should be, should be taught. Um, but like I said, sometimes that may be more of a what's going on in the street thing versus kind of you know what's going on in your crib. Um, but we could jump into this and have a conversation about it more when we're done. Make sure y'all subscribe. Caught you. Did you win I was about to say this is when he uh was Suge and V. Did V have a, a mission? Because he was like slapping everybody in the ass. across his chest. Yes, you're good at your job, but your processes, though. You're not army. Could have grabbed the nice amount. Could have grabbed the nice amount. 
<laughs> One episode. Oh, I'm not a player. 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 <laughs> In the soup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some of the best shoulders in the group. <laughs> Should me and Keith do reactions with those on? <laughs> I got the tiger when I wear it around the house sometimes. It's warm as fuck. So comfortable. <laughs> 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 I got my jackets up like Squid Game jackets. He broke some. Oh. One um, movie they was shooting. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but they have so many moments like that. Oh, my Somebody will be in bed, sleep with them. Oh, that was on the dock. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Not him in the middle of like his love time. <laughs> the heart. This this was a spy drone. Huh? Jenner, somebody was a spy on this one where they was losing game on purpose and shit. <laughs> Make sure y'all subscribe, be on the Patreon for more content just like this. We're going to holler at y'all say no. <laughs> um, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. Nah, nah, it is. It's just um, just a beautiful sight to see. Um, like I said, I don't know why. Beautiful. What a beautiful chocolate man. Beautiful chocolate man. Um, where the hell did we come up with? Like, where, where did that come from? Um, it's from White Chicks. What a beautiful chocolate man. <laughs> Um, so what's decent about BTS's music is that not only do you have the opportunity on so many different tracks to hear a different blend of voices, to hear different elements of people rapping, um, but once you get into their content, like, you know, In the Soup, Run BTS, Bon Voyage, et cetera, et cetera, you get to see the different personalities all hanging together and interacting, and that's just as beautiful or even more beautiful than the music, in my it's opinion. A beautiful moment in life. It is. And you get to see them spread their wings and, you know. And fly. Forever. Um, the map of your soul. Yeah, my soul. Seven. Um, but nah, I just, I think it's decent seeing all the pairings. And that's kind of what, 
like I said, is the, the decent stuff about all the other content that we get into. Um, with that being said, you know, seeing how everybody treats JK because he's the baby or just seeing Jim and be so affectionate and, you know, kind of being, you know, hugging and grabbing everybody. Seeing Jen feel like he's, you know, like the, the father or mother figure of like the, you know, entire group. And then, you know, how, how they, you know, run up on him. Um, Suge, who sometimes can seem very much like, you know, standoffish. standoffish or I don't want to be there today, has some of the cutest little just like, you know, I always say when he's there and he's kind of, you know, on that mood, you know, it's a good fucking day. Um, you know, just, just little things like little gestures and just little butt taps or like hand things or like hugs and everything like that. feels very refreshing to see just, you know, seven individuals just so happy to be around each other and who are just candid about like just showing affection. In 2023, you know, so many people are just so on the type time where, you know, I don't, I don't want to say people like too cool now to like, you know, love each other or just, you know. I don't think you're far off from saying it. I think that's pretty accurate. I'm not going to turn that into this, but like just going on my timeline, whether it's Twitter or somewhere else, you'll see gender wars, ethnicity wars, arguing about anything. Anything you could think of other than the sun is just like, you know, arguing. And it's Are just. under the sun? I would hope so. Um, you know, flat earth. <laughs> what's wrong with just loving each other, man? What's wrong with just being, you know, happy you woke up, man? And you know, you'll probably get haters out there that be like, "Oh, they're they're happy now because they're millionaires," or they just, man, these niggas was happy when we seen them rookie year when they didn't have shit when when they didn't have a nickel to all rub together or anything. All, all they had was each other and bang, <laughs> um, an army. You know what I mean? And just been the same energy from day one. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I always talk about how artists that we're used to seeing over here would be in year one, personality wise, just not the same artist nah. by the time you even get the same year three. That money, that fame, all that stuff. Can get to your head. Whispers, you know what I mean? Like, yo, so and so had the hottest verse, blah, 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 you know, like. Yeah, it's 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 a lot, bro. It's a lot, but we don't like to to echo and then let you get back to your point. We don't see this a lot. Yeah, like even with the fame and shit like that, you use something as low as like Jersey Shore or something. By the time they got like the season three and four and shit, you know how hard it was to get all them in a room together because mm-hmm. of like schedule conflicts and everything obligations. like that. Uh, obligations and everything else. It could easily be kind of like this with BTS in the sense of just like, you know, oh, well, this is going on or this is going on, et cetera, et cetera. Like, you know, we're too busy to do this or blah, blah, blah. The, the fact that they've been able to keep their personalities in check to keep the core of what makes them great just great to also still grow as people because it's not like. I think fundamentally all their core values are the same right now, but they've grown so much as individuals from 2013 or 2012 to 2023. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's just a beautiful thing that, you know, we can see them today or tomorrow doing a festa and it's still hugs and everything else and shit. Mm-hmm. And, and it doesn't come off as fake. I feel like real people can peep fake shit from miles away. And sometimes you can see a fake dab and like just, you know, fake energy and just like, oh, nah, they don't really fuck with each other outside of this. Like, you know, I think someone posted a joint yesterday with JK to my, I miss all the members from like BTS. And it just, you know, it sounded like he was about to cry and it felt real genuine. Mm-hmm. Um, and I feel like they do all really just miss each other regardless of them running a movie or, you know, enlisting and everything else. Um, but I'll, I'll jump back into it. It just feels very, it's going to sound like some corny shit. It feel like, they're still good in the world because you can see things like this. Yeah, that was some corny shit. Um, True shit, though. I live in my truth. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I agree with everything you just said. I mean, to keep it really short and simple, these guys are brothers, man. And that's how they act. That's how they treat each other. Um, when they kind of came up together under the same, like, uh, idol program, 
that bonding sequence, that bonding scenario, it never left them. They never forgot it. They never forgot who they were. They never forgot who the person to the left and right of them was because they've always been the same people to each other. Um, you know, Cookie's always been like the little brother. And, you know what I mean? They went to his graduation for crying out loud. I still think that is a beautiful moment. Um, Jen taking him to school, like, you don't forget those things. And as long as the person never changes, you'll never see them any different than what they are. And these guys don't change. Um, they're super consistent, at least with each other. Um, and at the basis, that's really all they're owed to be, um, to be consistent and to, like, be true to each other. And they, they are. We mm -hmm. see it all the time. Um, you know what I mean? Jen went to the military and did a, a video every month he was going to be going. Like, nobody asked to do asked you to do that. You did that out because that's who you are. As a person in the, at your core, that's who you are. You know what I mean? A lot of these interactions, a lot of these things, that's who you are. Like, I was... <laughs> I, I, said, I was uh, on Facebook the other day and somebody said something about, oh, you know... Um, Men, how can some men be friends with somebody for so long, even if they have arguments and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I mean, we, it's different for us. I mean, I know women who go to Miami five deep and two, no, two never come back on a plane and the other three don't talk. So, I mean, like, <laughs> it, it's just different. And it's like when we form a brotherhood and when we, when we say like, yo, that's my brother, you may piss me off. And I'll be mad at you. And I might, you know, me and you might go back and forth. Or I'll be like, man, you get on my fucking nerves or whatever, whatever. But let somebody else say something. It's a problem. Um, and that's, you know what I mean? that that's It's not perfect, but that's what brotherhood is sometimes. And these guys always give you... They don't ever give me K-pop group. They don't ever give me, hey, we're guys that from a different family that came together to form this musical group. They give me, hey, this is my brother. He just happened to sing. You know what I mean? Give me like Jackson 5, actually. They're, I, they, <laughs> they're more tight-knit than the Jackson 5, and they're actual brothers. <laughs> no, but uh, I, I just love everything about it. I love all their interactions. I love every time we get to see them on screen because um, it always feels genuine. It always feels real. It never feels fake. never feels forced. It never feels coerced um, or under duress or for a show, for a show. It's just real, man. Like some and and sometimes it's like cheesy and funny and corny, but it's supposed to be. Like it's supposed to be because it's real. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. yeah. I just I I I can't say it enough. I enjoy every time I get to see him like this. Yeah, and I think that's how family is. Sometimes, sometimes you know, it's those cheesy, awkward moments, or just you know, it, those real ass moments. Like you said, that's why it comes across that way. And I think that's kind of what makes them different than, you know, kind of every other group ever. Mm -hmm. You know, obviously, there's a lot of factors that, that came into why I think BTS is the best group ever. Um, and it, it seemed like so many things kind of had to align mm -hmm. for them to just garner the success that they did. Uh, I think one of the biggest elements for why they're able to be successful and stay together really is like the family oriented type time that they're on any other group that we name that you know what i mean that we feel like is a special group you know i think wu-tang clan is a special group mm -hmm. i think new addition is a special group um one direction the um um the beatles the beastie boys um you know and so on and so forth like you know it's a lot of groups like that 98 degrees <laughs> what i will say is is that out of all those groups, it seems like <laughs> it's a lot of different things that brewed up, that like brewed up over the years. Mm -hmm. Whether it was whether it was jealousy, yeah, resentment. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you have those you know members of those respective groups that I named that are still alive that talked about they didn't like how certain people ran the show. Mm -hmm. They could have did things better by themselves. Sometimes you have death. But the person that died was the glue kind of holding the left side to the right side. And the person in the middle is the one that passed away. Mm -hmm. And, like, I, like, I honestly think, like, maybe wu might be tighter if ODB didn't pass away. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, Because I feel like he was kind of, like, the arm holding the left, the arm holding the right, and kind of, like... He rocked respectfully with, like, mm -hmm. people who may have clashed a little bit yeah. more. And, you know, it's... 
we know what's up with the chef uh, RZA and all of them. How it, it's 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 friction a little bit. It's br- still brotherly love, but it's friction, um, nonetheless. And I feel like I feel like they have a perfect storm of just not letting their ego take over everything and ironically creating a different persona. Um, and just hey, it's my shadow. Um, but not. <laughs> But nah, like, no, some real shit, though, like, just, like, I think that's another thing, too, where, like, you'll have a lot of groups where someone will do a solo record here, and the first thing they do is thank thank the other members, thank ARMY and everything else. Mm -hmm. You know, you'll have someone from Group A do a song outside of their group and be thanking the fans and really not say much about the members or be like, well, I'm good now, I can... I can do this by myself. This proves I'm Bobby Brown. I don't need new addition for anything. And <laughs> thirty years later, <laughs> look who came crawling back. Yeah, and I mean that's another group too. Respectfully, who you know everybody, in my opinion, garnered solo success. Mm-hmm. Um, you know how I feel about One Direction. Kind of like the same thing. You know, Zayn felt like he was bigger than the group, and you know did what he did. Then Harry dipped, but every member has gained solo success. Mm-hmm. Um, and there's quite a few Who's other examples uh, like that. I won't say everyone garnered <laughs> uh, say success. Some of Fifth Harmony. Um, I'm trying to think of anybody else who kind of left the group and everybody like was cool. There's not too many examples not of, too of many. people I was be like. Smart <laughs> ass Dan and became, but that's that's no. Day twenty six got back together. One twelve, no. Even though I probably could, but see them that way but they just I don't know if they cho- even choose to uh well no nah, not all of Drew Hill not all of Drew Hill no. <laughs> yeah see it's a hard sell it's once you you know if y'all if y'all if y'all are up to date with all music groups and y'all feel like y'all can name a group uh like name a group nah who was um the Beatles count Everybody got shit popping by themselves when they left. In mu- uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Everybody, so, everybody, everybody got shit popping with the Beatles when they left. But not everybody got a pop in the music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Not nah, some, some. Uh, whether it's movies or uh, acting. like acting, and, and you know what Yo, I mean. It took sh- me. I, I swear, it took me so long. Like, that's Ringo Starr. Why does that name sound familiar? Why does that name sound that's familiar? The drummer from the Be- that's the drummer from the Beatles. He's the <laughs> damn conductor at Shining Time Station. Mm-hmm. Um, Crazy, right? Yeah, but um, yeah, man. I just uh, I'm not gonna drag this, you know, anymore. Though I just shit like this always just has me thinking. Just you know, why have they been able to kind of you know stay together as long as they have, and why even the feelings don't feel like they're ever leaving? Because I guess my biggest fear was you know I'm. I don't like change, mm. not drastic change. Mm-hmm. In fact, it used to bother me like as a child and shit. I think that's when they think I had like my old, like heavy OCD or something like that, mm-hmm. where uh, if something changed, they actually used to bother me as a kid um, with something drastic. Like I really can't handle changes like kind of a lot. So, you know, uh, not like I got attachment issues when it comes to people. Ironically, with people, I kind of can just cut people That's fuck off. That's what it sounds like to me. Um, no, I can cut somebody <laughs> clean off. Um, but uh, I don't know. When it comes to, like, BTS, I'm very protective <laughs> and very much um, selfish. Mm-hmm. And just like, no, like, this is perfect. Like, you can't break up anything that's perfect. This is the only thing that's holding my life together. <laughs> but no, nah, like, you know, so... When we quote unquote heard, uh, you know, about the the um, the quote unquote hiatus, you know, I know people hate using that word. Um, you know, oh, it's just it, it just was just like, damn, like you know, what's what's about to happen, blah, blah, blah. But I feel like every time we hear each member talk, we definitely get reassurance that you know everything is fine. We're just running our movie. We're doing our enlistments. We're handling what we feel like we need to get off our chest with music on a solo shit. And I think at this point, in 2025, we're going to be back. And everything's going to be cool. See, I never thought that the hiatus meant people were going to leave the group and go solo. Only because um, of the enlistment obligations that they had. I felt like 
the last thing, me personally, the last thing I would want to do is knowing that I have to go to the military for, um, what, a year and some change? Mm-hmm. And not even getting a chance to enjoy a little bit of freedom of myself before going and doing that. Like, to go off, to come just directly off tour, and then, like, within a week later, turn around and have to go to the military. No, I need to, I need, I need to decompress. I need to go in in a great mental space because nothing is going to be the same once I get in there. And some people you, you see don't handle it well. Um, not to say it's anything against them, but sometimes it's rough. Um, then they have to move uh, Taman, like because something was going on. It was like just really depressed where he was. Mm-hmm. So I mean, like it happens. Nothing, to, you know, no slight against him. I don't know why there would be or should be, but. Um, you got to be in the right mental space for those so for those sort of things. Um, so, like, I understood the hiatus. I understood when to put out some solo work because, again, you want to just get some things off your chest and you want to keep the mu- music pumping. Um, yeah, but I completely agree with everything you said. Yeah, man. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Nah, jump in the comments. Uh, like, let us know how y'all felt about everything. Definitely touch, like, uh, a whole bunch of different subjects and stuff. But that's the point of this channel. We want to be able to start different conversations, to engage and have real conversations, honest conversations, while also being respectful. Um, With that being said, I hope you guys are subscribed. Jump on the Patreon. Some exclusive BTS content up on there. More conversations are also up on there. We do open-ended stuff. Uh, Like I said, the New Bon Voyage Season 3 is up. Some other JK content and V stuff is up on there as well. Um, love you guys. We're going to holla at y'all. Peace. And hair grease. The hand thing was actually genius. Where it's like we can get in a better rhythm if we just kind of hold hands. It probably feels like a little, you know. Mm-hmm. I feel like we can move better. Mm-hmm.